Hi, welcome to the latest episode of Youth Diary. Let me just ask you a question. What is the most important feature that you notice in a person when you first meet them? Obviously the eyes, isn't it? Yes, eyes are considered to be a window to a person's soul. So to take care of them is equally important. To help us, us on this, we have Dr. Roshan with us. Dr. Roshan is from Roshan Eye Care Hospital, Tripunitara. Hi doctor, welcome to our show. Thank you. Doctor, nowadays at least one person in a family is using glasses. What can be the reason for this increased incidence? What is your note on this? Actually, all these refractive errors, that means spectacle problems like short sight, myopia or hypermetropia, that means long sight, astigmatism uh, and other errors are uh, largely inherited. Uh, it's only that nowadays the awareness of this is more and the need for clear vision is more. Uh, maybe 100 years ago, uh, a lady sitting in her kitchen needed to see only 6 feet till the next wall. She didn't need to see the bus which was coming 20 or 30 feet away and jump into it first exactly. or uh, work long hours in front of the computer. So I think it's more the need now and awareness that you can have your best vision. Okay. You just mentioned that working long long time in front of computers can cause stress. So will do refractive error and then need for glasses? Working long hours in front of the computer is not a problem. But if your lighting in the room is not right, for example, uh, you have to have some background lighting, uh, not a perfectly dark room and a luminous screen in front of you. Uh, if there is too much of contrast that causes eye strain, then if you don't blink, most of the people once they start working too hard, they forget to blink. Uh, everybody, man and woman, we blink about one time every three seconds. If you are stressed or worried, you may blink even more times. But um, if you don't blink, your eyes tend to dry up. And uh, each time you blink, uh, the tear film is a dynamic film. You will imagine that tears are made of only water. Actually, 80% is water, but you have a fine film of uh, oily layer on top of it, the tear film to prevent evaporation and drying. So each time when you blink, uh, not only is a minuscule amount of uh, oily secretion coming out from the glands which are behind each eyelash, mebomin glands, which will go on uh, replenishing the oily layer in the tear film and preventing evaporation, but also uh, going on washing. Each time when you blink, you will imagine you are blinking like this. Actually, if you take a fast speed uh, uh, photography, the lid doesn't move like this. It moves like this. So, it is in a wave motion that God lets each time you blink, one drop comes from the lacrimal gland and it just washes across, replenishes the tear film, prevents all the drying, makes it clear, provides nutrition, gives uh, antibacterial properties like lysozyme to prevent either bacteria from entering and then washes it all out through the ducts which are leading to the nose. So a lot of things happen when you sit in front of the computer and you don't have to get eye strain if you remember to blink and to keep good lighting and uh, maybe have a good computer and don't get stressed. So working in front of computer is not an excuse for, for wearing glasses? No. Okay, now let's go to our first query. Here is a query. Hi, my name is Neer Jashanoy and I'm from SVN. Um, my doubt is, my friend gets a migraine very often. What triggers these mi migraines and uh, how can you prevent these? Ah, migraine is really a pain, literally and figuratively speaking. Because uh, not only do you suffer severe pain, but um, most of the pe people who are suffering migraine, they get it very often, maybe one or two times a week. I know some patients were getting even almost alternate days. It's quite a trouble for such people because uh, they lose their confidence. They cannot work even regularly. And most of them prefer to go for a part-time job or freelance or something like that. Uh, because um, they're not confident they can produce today's work, uh, especially the high pressure jobs. Actually, if you go to any doctor, they'll give you some medicines. But medicines are only a stopgap arrangement. In the sense, you take it, okay, one month, you'll be fine, no problem. But that's not the answer. Actually, knowing your trigger factors is the most important thing to avoid a migraine. For, for example, I'll just give you a few examples. And then each one, we tell our patients, go back, sit and think what 
brings on your headache and then it's easy to avoid it and then you don't need to suffer from migraine actually it's quite simple if you look at it carefully for example uh, if you sleep too long like Sunday all day you, that can produce a headache if you sleep less it can produce a headache you miss meals late meals too much of Sun uh, those are people who are less sensitive so such people watching TV too long or uh, computer too long with the brightness and contrast increase too much that can produce a headache 